when I was about 13 or 14. I started writing songs when I was about 12. So in terms of the sound and all the influences that were around me, I think as a kid, you don't really think I'm going to put this thing in, I'm going to put that thing in. You just are that thing. You just are the society you grow up in. You are the, the people around you. And, and I think automatically um, when I was, you know, that young, things just came in very, very naturally. And people are always telling me, oh, you've got all these African rhythms in there and you've got all these different influences, but you sound a bit jazz, it sounds a bit... And I'd be like, yeah, all right. <laughs> you know, because, because I think those things just... just um, you just pick them up as you go along. Well, A3K, so it's, um, it's about just trying to be who you are, really. Um, or maybe not trying, actually. <laughs> just being who you are. Um, regardless, and the the sort of the, the the sort of dual title thing, the A three K, it because it's just kind of like what it is in the song. Um, it can be anything you want it to be. So it's a freak, free key, and it's you know if you say it phonetically, it's Africa. So it, part of it's about me. Part of it's about the people listening to it. Listening to it, um, as in you know you can be anything you want to be. I can be what I want. That's A three K. I think when when you're an artist, you kind of um, you you work from how you grew up, your background, and so the A three K comes from yeah that duality, um, sort of West African sort of heritage that I grew up with at home, and um, the, there's all the stuff that I grew up with in school and living in the UK and all, all all things like that. So it's these two things coming together, two totally different sort of societies coming together. I'm, I'm so proud of what I've achieved recording so far um, with the album. I think uh, at the moment it's kind of that big thing of you've got all these tracks and it's whittling, it, whittling what is probably about five years of recording down to 10 or 11 tracks. It's like you're then making the sound that people hear so they don't know about that other sound that you made, that other sort of thing. And and so being proud of it is is it's going to be and the next step. I was getting all the little bits together and going, right, that's it. That's the collection. That's the album, and I can't. I can't wait till we get to that stage because I've, I've I've sort of recorded. I think everything now. So um, all the recording's done. So it's just whittling it down to that one little body of work that I can be proud enough to say, right there you go. The charity um, th this evening that I was playing band on the wall was um, Nod Off Robbins. It's a it's a music therapy charity, and for me, I like I like doing charity gigs because. Um, I just because sometimes as an artist you feel like you, every, you know you spend all your time being really focused on this thing and you can kind of get into your own bubble and and it's really important to just give something back and just you know supporting charities and things it's, it's amazing being able to just to do gigs and get people to come and pay the money so that the, the charity can you know expand so it's awesome. Pretty much everybody who's who's playing tonight, I know, or I've met before, or I've I've played a gig with, or done a radio session with, or something like that. So, and Manchester's very much like that. You know, you get the sense of community in in the artist community because it's you know Manchester um, isn't as big as say someone like London. So that itself, and then the, the the music community is even smaller, and so you meet the same people, and it's just it's really friendly. It's just got a, a nice night really.
Okay.